In this video, we'll be looking at how to install the connection brokers for the workspace. We'll be installing two connection brokers as a HA load balance pair. Very quickly, the prerequisites and the details of the command line installation. In our previous video, showing how to install the management console, we ran through these items more fully. And so if you need more details, please watch that video. We'll now go over to the lab and start the install. So here we are in the lab and I've connected to our V workspace management server where we installed the console in the last video. You'll notice that there is a quick start wizard, which if I access that allows us to configure V workspace in a number of ways with a simple wizard. For this series of videos, I'll be configuring the remote desktop session host version so we can publish desktops and applications to users. This is the lowest cost uh, method of providing desktops to users. You'll see the first step is a required step and that's to deploy connection brokers. You have to have at least one in your farm. In this video will be deploying two to enable additional performance and high availability redundancy. I've built two servers to act as a broker and we'll go over now to uh, v workspace broker one the first server and we'll install the binaries on there and here we are on the broker server so i shall navigate now to the location where i've copied the binaries to so that's support software quest v workspace and underneath there the v workspace folder i can then enter the command to install the software. Notice that we're installing the core binaries of the workspace, mandatory for any single role being installed, the connection broker role and the management console role. Installing the management console so that we can import the certificates off of the connection broker server afterwards and also because um, it acts as a backup should our management console server not be available so we can still get in and configure things. We can see that the command line is running and we're installing the prerequisites at the moment and we'll know when the software is completely on because the server will reboot and I'll join you back here after that. And so we're back on the server, and if we start up the V Workspace Management Console, you'll see that it's added in our connection broker servers straight away. So if I went back onto our wizard again, you'll see that this step is now complete, and we could move on to just adding in remote desktop session hosts. If all you want is a very simple deployment, a quick start wizard, then that's all that you need to do. In the next video, we'll be adding in our virtualization hosts. Hope to see you then.